Hey, today I am on the TK1 fat tire trike from Mooncool. Let's check it out. <laughs> oh, I knew it was going to happen eventually. Hey, Wayne here, and thanks to Mooncool for sending me over their TK1 Fat 20 trike for review. This bike comes in six colors buccaneer green dark red cool black warm pink navy blue and cyan green which is the one i'm riding on which is sort of a seafoam color so this is a really good looking trike as far as trikes go i like the fat tire look and uh the paint job is pretty nice. This bike has two baskets, one in the front, one in the rear. Uh, pretty good for taking with you if you're gonna go do some light shopping, maybe some antiquing or something like that. The recommended height for this bike is from five feet to six foot three and can handle a load of up to 400 pounds. The handlebar is adjustable. You just remove this latch and you can raise the handlebar up and down. The tires on my bike are non-branded and are 20 inch by four inch wide fat tire tires. <laughs> it comes with shocks. They're not adjustable. You can't lock them out or anything, but helpful. Nice to have them. The motor is a 48 volt, 500 watt front motor with a peak power of 750 watts. It has 85 Newton meters of torque or at least up to 85 Newton meters of torque. And for the battery, it has a 48 volt, 14.5 amp hour battery. The battery is rated to range 30 to 45 miles. Of course, that's gonna depend on your payload and your terrain and all that good stuff. And the charge time should take about six to eight hours. The bike has a cadence sensor, which makes it a lot easier for pedaling, no matter how far, how fast you're going it's always going to take off. The power assist levels are only one through three, so you don't have to worry about four and five. You've got one, two, and three to go through to reach top speed, and your top speed is up to 16 miles an hour. For brakes, this trike has two brakes, one disc brake up front, and the rear brake is actually on the axle, and it stops, I believe, just the left wheel, not the right. Kind of strange to me, but I'm new to trikes, so from what I'm seeing, I think that's kind of common when it comes to trikes. But I would have liked to have seen disc brakes or mechanical disc brakes on all three wheels. So one more thing on the brakes is it does not have like a parking brake. When you, when you put the brakes on and you stop, there's nothing to stop it if you're on a hill. So just be careful with that. Make sure you turn the handlebar in, carry a piece of wood or something, or find a rock to place in front of the tires to stop it. From rolling. It has a 44 tooth chain ring with a 7 speed Shimano derailleur. The multi display, it's small with small buttons. It's fine, with, fine for me. And it comes with this little sticker here that tells you where the buttons are and everything. And it feels like you can't take it off and remove it, but you can remove the film that's on top of it that has the word. So no worries there, you just gotta really work it and you'll, you, from one of the corners and, and you'll be able to remove that film. So some bikes come with a twist throttle. This one has a thumb throttle, so you just have to push it down to go. And it's pretty convenient. Some people prefer twist, some people prefer thumb. Doesn't matter to me. For lights, it has one front headlight and then in the rear there are no lights, but there are two reflectors, one on each fender. Would have liked to have seen a, a brake light in the back. That would have been nice. Maybe um, just add one. There's a lot you can buy on like Amazon to put your own on there. Oh, and it has a built-in horn. So some thoughts I have on this bike is it's a really good looking trike. I was actually really surprised when I pulled it out of the box and put it together, which leads me to another thing though is that this bike did take a lot to put together compared to other bikes that I've worked on. So if you're familiar with putting e-bikes together, you should have no problems with this. 
But if it's new to you, uh, maybe take it to a bike shop and let them put it together for you. It took a little longer to put this one together and I did have some trouble with the derailleur, but um, I did eventually get the derailleur working just fine. Again, if you have any problems with the derailleur, then you could just take it to a local bike shop. I'm sure they can fix that up for you real quick. Uh, that's something that's usually already on the bikes, but it wasn't on this one. And they're usually set up already, so with some maybe minor adjustments for other bikes. This one I had to do quite a bit of work on the derailleur. Of course, riding a trike is really straightforward. If you're new to riding, you, there's nothing to really learn. Just sit down, pedal, or throttle. Um, you know, if you're new to riding bikes, you gotta learn how to balance and all. You won't have to do that with the trike. So if you're new to bikes, this might be a good pick for you. Since it's a cadence sensor trike, there is some ghost pedaling. Not a lot, but there is some. Either way, whether you're, whether you have ghost pedaling or not, you can still pedal if you wanna get the exercise, you can still pedal. You might not feel that much resistance when you're at your top speed, but you'll still get some exercise. So one of my only concerns with trikes in general, I think this applies to most trikes, is turning. In fact, this one has a warning sticker right here on the center of the handlebar that says not to exceed 15 kilometers, which is about nine miles per hour when making a turn. If you do, it could tip over. And I have turned fast enough before that the rear wheel has kind of lifted off the ground a little bit. I'd say the only other concern I have, which is a really small one, is that the uh, rear basket comes with these little metal clips that you're supposed to use when you're putting it together. And they show it like you, you leave them on there even afterwards, but to hold the, the basket together, I would say use zip ties. These clips, they're aluminum, they don't seem very strong. They're not easy to use. I say forget those and just use zip ties. So I'd say this bike is for people that enjoy a nice slow, take in the sun, take in the sights type of ride person. Not somebody that's looking to go very fast since the high speed on this, the top speed on this is about 16 miles per hour and you don't want to take turns very fast. Other than that, it's a good bike for somebody that's first starting out and is afraid of bikes. You can just sit on it. You don't have to worry about balance. It's also good for people that might want to do a little light shopping. Um, you know, put some supplies in the back, maybe put a Bluetooth speaker in there. This is a good little traveling bike. <laughs> My neighbor told me to stop speeding. Okay, so Mooncool has multiple trikes for you to choose from, including regular e-bikes. I'm gonna put a link down below. If you're interested in a trike like this, please use my link. It's an affiliate link. I thank you in advance for using it. Helps out the channel, doesn't cost you anything extra. Go ahead and grab one, get out there and ride and I will see you on the next one.